Stones, thank you so much for the Bidly Bits. Guys, hashtag charity as well. Not only are we going to Bukaki the snowman, hashtag charity. Remember that, guys. Oh, man, that is too good. I can't. I Sounds legit. So I was like, sounds legit to me. Welcome to the Tower of Time Early Access. Our aim is to create a classic RPG with an engaging story and various gameplay novelties. A game that the player will want to finish. One of these novelties is a real-time combat system with slow mode, for which we have designed and continued to refine advanced combat mechanics for the enemies, tactics, party composition, skill selection, as well as the ability to control the battlefield are crucial factors for success in the combat part of the game. Your feedback is extremely valuable to us. If you have any suggestions, ideas, or want to report a bug, please select the report issue in the options. We hope you will enjoy playing the game. Uh, so this game is available right now on Steam Early Access for $15. Um, it's supposed to be $25 when it finally releases. Uh, if you buy it in Early Access, you get the full game at a lower price. Uh, so let's play the game. Shall we? First, we're going to go to the settings. Um, quality? No, 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 no. We're streaming this. Quality... Uh, hi. Use soft particles, please? Wait, do I want soft particles or hard particles? Do the particles need to be so hard? Why? Okay, apply. Um, audio. Why does the audio start at 50%? Like, I have my audio quality pretty good. So, or audio balance for the game pretty good right now today. I spent a long time yesterday getting my audio balance back to what it was. Um, sure. Okay. Hotkeys. I'm not going to remember these. New game. Story. Story difficulty. Minus 40% boss health. Minus 70% monster damage change. Minus 70% monster health. Easy mode. Normal mode. We'll just do normal. Give me that normal. I like my particles oh, hard, boss. Dying. And we are dying with it. Okay. It was different once. The land was a place of wonder and beauty. All races lived in peace and harmony. Yet a very long time ago, something happened. Something which we don't even have a name for. Because history is lost to us. A twitch may ban you. We can glimpse the past only from the old tales passed down from generation to generation from the ruins scattered across the land and indecipherable artifacts uncovered when the earth shakes with violence. Okay. Now the land is our enemy. The sky is covered with dark clouds. Okay. Weather acts in strange patterns. Rain might not come for several weeks, but then one day it falls with a fury of the heavens until everything is washed away and lost. Is that why we have to plow without our shirt on? The problem is that there is not enough sunlight and in shorts. to grow food. We are trying to survive, but it seems we are losing this battle because we are slowly dying off. When I was young, just a boy, I lived in a small village on the border of the human domain. But now I plow without my shirt on was and in shorts. In the forest. I came upon freshly uncovered ruins. Ooh. The result of a strong earthquake the day before. Freshly I'm uncovered sure ruins. That's like a tower. Like this. How do you not find a tower? Exploring them. But this time, something pulled me closer. There was an earthquake. We found some freshly uncovered ruins. There's a tower in the hills. Where did it come from? Oh, never mind. This image is now more clear. It is clearly under a mountain. Like the mountain has built up around the tower. Hmm. I am torn between productivity and napping. Soreness. Uh... Soreness and Thrower and possibly Waldos were the ones uh, I really wanted to see this game. At least from the images that I have been given before 
I was given this game. So let's check this out. I will have money in my account tomorrow. I will knock him off then. Hawaii was too expensive. Was it? Was it Waldo's? Did you at least have fun? Hey, check this out. I picked this up at Walmart yesterday. It is the uh, Walmart Parents Guide to Video Games. This is important because apparently it shows a family on a couch having fun playing video games together while Sonic the fucking Hedgehog is coming up to kidnap their little daughter. This is an important book. <laughs> this is a super important book. Great gaming gift ideas inside. Which console is right for your family? <laughs> With Sonic on the cover. Because Sonic is the kind of game people play nowadays. <laughs> Like, it's not even, like, the Sonic from the game or computer edit. That is clearly a dude in a Sonic costume, like, coming up behind them to kidnap their daughter. Also, on the back is fucking Sonic Forces, which makes it even funnier. I have never been to Hawaii. My in-laws talked about bringing us sometime, but then they divorced, so probably not. Giant cosplay rapey Sonic. It's weird. It's like super weird. And of course, like like you open the cover. You open the cover. First thing you see, Battlefront Two. I was looking at this yesterday. No joke. No joke. Okay, Battlefront Two. You go. You go towards the center of the book. Go towards the center of the book. Exact center of the book. There's another ad for Battlefront fucking Two. And you go back here, you go back here towards the end of the book, and this is, this is absolute no joke. Go back here towards the end of the book. Alright, back here towards the end of the book. There's another ad for fucking Battlefront 2. There's another ad for Battlefront 2. In this booklet that is 50 pages long. There are three ads for Battlefront 2. What game is Walmart trying to sell you? Okay, let's learn to play. Why is the menu in this game stanky? I don't know. I don't know. If you bought Sonic Forces for your child, I'm calling child services on you. And that's coming from a furry, so I want to believe it's okay. Battlefront 2 is more expensive than Hawaii. Okay. The entire morning passed without the sign of a single rabbit. No tracks, no fur, no scat. Nothing. That's why the menu's so stanky. Rarely was hunting so bad in the woods surrounding your village. It felt as if something unnatural lingered in the air. A frightening thought that sent a shiver down your spine as you slowed your pace and gazed through the trees to a scene of total devastation. The forest laid before you sundered littered with jagged rocks and vast chasms. <laughs> hey, DK, thank you so much for the biddly bits. Um, the aftermath of the earthquake three days passed. Pushing back the impulse to flee home, you moved closer. The adults tell stories of the world regurgitating treasures from long ago. Just a look, you convinced yourself. Your curiosity shortly rewarded by the sight of a large fissure emitting a dazzling blue light. Against your better judgment, you squeeze through the... Uh, wait, 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 what? You squeeze, you squeeze through the gap, leaving behind the world you've always known. What is this place? It looks like a different world. Perhaps I should turn back. The elders are very strict about the old stuff. If you come across anything strange that belongs to the old times, don't Bits. touch it. Don't press any buttons. Micro don't take any crystals. Come back and tell an adult immediately. 
Microfront, hashtag charity, DK, thank you for the Billy Bits again. Okay, so, so few games have the balls to start their game with a reference with rabbit poop. Right, thrower? I totally agree. Pa oh, wait, wait, wait. Bah, they're scared of their own shadows. It can't hurt to look around. Maybe I'll find food or treasure. Or treasure. Or treasure. Okay. So, this is a clicky, clicky game, clicky game. Gotta go clicky click. Click, wait, 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 what, what is this? A metal sign post with hands pointing off many directions. Gardens, uh, gardens of Sorrow, three miles. Hebden Car, nine miles. Shit, what else does it say? Ostwick Bridge, 14 miles. Those names mean nothing to you. Am, am I just like some kind of like, not intelligent kid? Seems odd to donate to charity while ripping on EA. Not really. I need an adult. It'd only be odd if EA was charity. Why does this kid have a Cockney accent? I think he should be Aussie. What? Wait, what's this? Nothing. Okay. Um. Bottles. Got it. Oh, hello. As you approach the statue, its eyes flicker with life and it speaks to you. Welcome to the Sanctum of the First Magus. Please state your business. I think he should speak Esperanto. Ah. Wait, no, no, no. We need a voice. He's holding a clock. Ah. <laughs> Welcome to the Sanctum of the First Magus. Uh, state your business. You can talk. Please state your business. I I just want to look around. I. The first magus awaits you, Ambassador Chunstable. Uh, representative of the king under the mountain. Uh huh. Who? No, wait a second. I'm just a boy from the village. I was taking a look around when there was. Uh, please present your identification, Ambassador. Uh huh. I I don't know what you mean by that. <laughs> Please present your identification. I don't have anything to show you. Sanctum Guardians have been alerted, and they will escort you to the administrative administrative captain. Please do not be alarmed. Sanctum Guardians? Maybe I'll just go back the way I came then. Please stay where you are and do not be alarmed. Sanctum Guardians have been alerted, and they will escort you to the administrative captain. Resistance is not advised. You wait. Nervously, ready to run. After a while, nothing happens. And you breathe deeply. Chunstable. Yes, Chunstable. Apparently, there are no guardians. Okay, that's good to know. I'll just move on then. Um, what? What are you show? Oh, okay. I was like, what are you showing me? Whoa, I shouldn't have eaten that burger today. Below you lies a large throne lined with immense luminescent crystals. As you peer over the edge and focus your attention on one of the larger blue crystals, a faint voice calls out to you. Fear is the gatekeeper that turns back the messes. Have courage. Your destiny beckons. Who are you? What's this place? Come to me. The time is nigh. A powerful desire to leap off the edge uh, of this precipice to the throne far below washes over you. Sweat breaks across your brow as you force yourself back, step by step by step. Yes, the voice vanishes. But the irresistible urge to just reach the throne remains. You look around for a safe way down, though. At least the kid's smart. I should just jump. Can I just jump? No. Okay. That sucks. That burger was magic. Can I just hold the button? I can just hold the button. Yay! I'm a genius. Okay, where are we going? Come on, kid.